I am returning with my second Inktober. So I have put the link for my first Inktober in the description below if you want to go and check it out. So for this video I am going to be painting a cat um, with some bat wings using Windsor and Newton inks. So for this one I have decided I am just going to be using black ink um, because in my last video I really liked how the black um, worked for the witch hat and her shoes so I decided that I'd try and use it for an entire illustration. Um, I think I might also use a little bit of gold just to add some more detail into it but all the colouring of the cat and everything like that is all going to be in black. So let's get started. These are the materials I used to create this illustration. I used Winsor & Newton inks in black and gold, paint brushes of different sizes, white gouache, water, pipettes, a razorable coloured pencil and a fine liner which was black. As I said earlier, I wanted to draw a cat with some bat wings, so I sketched out some ideas. Um, my favourite idea was definitely the first one I did, um, but I decided that I might give it devil horns um, instead, so I kind of thought about you doing that instead. Um, in the end, I decided to ditch the devil horns and I just went with a pumpkin and the bat wings. I did have some other ideas as well, but this was my favourite one, so I decided to go with it. I am using Windsor & Newton ink in Black Indian. Um, I decided that I wanted to make it um, shades of greys and blacks, so I experimented with the amounts of water I was using on my paintbrush. I also used um, a flatter headed paintbrush just so I could get some more texture um, that I don't necessarily get in my normal illustrations um, because I tend just to use normal round headed brushes. You can see on this leg um, I've made the streaks very rectangular and very streaky but I really liked how this came out and I really liked the effect it gave. On the left hand side you can also see that it's very textured and it kind of looks like um, it's a bit furry which I really liked because I wanted to make this a really fluffy black cat. I usually use a lot of colour in my work so this was very different for me to be only using two colours um, especially with one of them being black. It was a great way to learn more with my inks um, because I could build up on the dark colour um, and I wasn't as scared to put different layers down and make it darker and um, use water to make other bits um, a little bit lighter so you could get the different textures and tones that would be in this um, cat's fur. I also feel like this um, black ink interacted with the paper a lot differently to my coloured inks. Um, I don't know why that is. Um, but I definitely think I preferred using just the black ink in the sketchbook to the coloured ones. Um, the, I know the paper I'm using isn't the best for watercolours and inks, so that might be the reason that the coloured ones didn't work as well, but I definitely think this black one worked really well in the sketchbook, um, and I'm really happy with how it came out in the end. I also added some acrylic gouache just to add some light areas to the illustration. And here's my finished Halloween cat bat illustration. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell button to be notified when my next Inktober will be up next Saturday. If you want to see more of my Inktober illustrations, check out my Instagram which is in the link below or you can find me at polygon underscore um, where I will be uploading um, a few times a week, I'm going to be uploading different um, illustrations I'm going to be doing on the um, prompts um, and things that I felt like drawing. Um, I'm not following the prompts exactly so I'm kind of just doing what I want to do and how I feel inspired and I'm not pushing myself to complete the challenge every day. But I'm going to be uploading lots there if you want to go and see what I've already uploaded and what I'm going to be uploading for the rest of the month. Thanks again for watching, bye!